of Python and all you have to do is open the Python idle program and we're going to create a string. Now a string is really easy on here. Uh, really easy string. There we go. And that's all it is. It'll just print that string. You just put it with the single. You can also use the double um, double quotes. Also work as well. And to assign it to a variable, all you have to do is this. str equals this. Okay, now to print it, all we do is call that variable. So what we've done is we've stored this into this name of our variable, which we called string. Okay, and it prints it. Let's do a number. All right, uh, my number. Now a good way to do your variables is the camel casing, so small and large, equals 10. All right, and then all we have to do is call that and it'll bring up 10. Now let's put those together. Now this is gonna be a little bit tricky because this is a number and this is a string. So putting those together is a little bit tricky. So let's give it a go though. Uh, we're gonna go string plus equals, I'm gonna try this, my number. Now this is how you do it in Swift. I, yeah, it's not gonna let us. So what we have to look at is how to cast a number into a string. All right, let's have a look up, look up, look that up now. So cast string into number Python. Okay, and I'm doing this because this is how you learn how to program. You'll have to look up these things and know how to do it. So we've got int string this one, string to float, string to int. It's not really sure, that's, that's turning them into a number. Convert a string, convert. Oh yeah, we want the other way, a number into a string. There we go, that's what we want. And here it is, str, and then you do the brackets, okay? And it'll convert it into a string. So let's try that now. All right, so before we had str, we're gonna plus equals. So that means we're gonna change the str variable and add this number to it. All right, so then we go str. Now it's a little bit confusing because we've named a variable str. So let's see if that causes a problem. You gotta watch out for things like that. Enter, and okay, so now it's an object. So the program is a bit stuffed now. Let's, let's try that again. I'm gonna have to be careful of using this because it is built into the programming language. You have to really be careful of that. So let's start again. Let's go, uh, I'll close idle. And just restart it again. All right, um, I'm gonna go my str. There we go, that should avoid it. And we'll call it hi there day. Okay, and we'll store that. And my number, which will be equal to one. And that's stored now, you just press enter to store it. Then we're gonna add them to each other. So my, now make sure you Copy what's up here, otherwise it's not gonna work. Plus equals str my num. And let's go enter. Awesome, so that worked. Now let's call this variable my str. Hi there, day one. So there's day one of Python. Uh, this is a fun little uh, sort of place where you can play with your code. It's a bit like the playground um, in Swift. Uh, I'll just take it one little step further. Let's create a new file and we can create our own program. So we can call it um, my program and it's gonna call it, um, and I'm gonna give it its, give that a good name. My program title is my uh, day one program, and I've created a string. 
And, and what you have to do, if you wanna see anything in this program, you have to print. So we're gonna print this. So I'm just gonna copy it and paste it just so I made sure I've done it right. And press run, run module, and you'll have to save it. So I'm gonna save as day one on the desktop. Python day one, save. And it'll run into the idle uh, sandbox place where it'll print out that string that we just created. 